Hello there and happy May 4th. I know it's May 5th when this video is going out, but it is still May 4th for me. First off, before we start the video, we are so close to a thousand and if we've hit a thousand subs by the time the video goes out, be sure to hit subscribe anyway and drop a like if you do end up enjoying this video. But today we'll be taking a look at my May 4th haul. And honestly, this bag's just bought the thumbnail because all of my Lego purchases actually fit in the smaller Lego bag. In fact, I haven't actually bought a proper Lego set this year. These are all just gift with purchases and little freebies that I've picked up in stores for Lego celebrating Star Wars Day. And I think we'll start off with the one that I've already talked about, and that is the TIE Interceptor Poly Bag. I will be opening these and showing them off in closer detail on the desk, but I want to go through what I've purchased and then some other deals that I saw and of course a look at all the new Star Wars sets. Now Smith's wasn't just giving out the Star Wars poly bags, no there was a make and take as well. In fact it was more of a take because of how busy it was but you could also pick up one of two instructions as I was wearing my Star Wars hat. It was a no-brainer which one I had, but you had the choice between a little Yoda Builder Ball, which you got the instructions for as well, and Smiths were actually on their A-game this year. Not only was it per person rather than per child, which you saw all the Harry Potter fans complaining that they were only giving the poly bags out to children for Harry Potter Day last year, but they also put all the pieces in a Ziploc bag, which meant if you're like me, you can build them while you walk around Smith's because it's in a nice bag and it makes for a very fun challenge for the older fans. But it also meant that you had enough pieces to build it. You weren't scrambling, much like Lego do when they do events such as the one building which you would have seen back for Harry Potter week even back in September of last year. A load of kids were walking away with smaller ones and the staff were trying to get them to put all the pieces on but there's no guarantee that children will be using all their pieces and if they get home and it doesn't quite look like it's supposed to, it's just a nice way of including all the pieces. This wasn't supplied by Lego. There is a Sainsbury's next door and I don't know if you can see that, but it does have Sainsbury's on the bag. So they just pop next door. Someone spent a load of hours of their time bagging up all these pieces just so they could hand them out. And as I mentioned, there was also an X-Wing bag, which I will put up on screen for you. But I had to go with the Yoda as it matched the hat. And last but not least, thanks to London Bridge Bricks for pointing this out to me. In fact, he did it in a short a while back if you didn't see it. Argos were giving away a special anniversary key ring you have to stay to the end of the video to see this. This will be the last one. It looks amazing. And you could pick it up with orders of over £40. The only set that they were selling for £40 was the Tantive on a 20% off discount, which is a stunning deal if you haven't picked it up. So be sure to grab it if you still can. But I paid £5 just for the key ring. I think this is just going to sell until it goes out of stock. So definitely check your Argos's. If you are in the UK, I'm sure there's a few other stores elsewhere. I know in Europe, JB Spill Warrant was giving this out with a notebook. So if you do spend a bit more than £40, quite a bit more than £40, you'll also be able to pick that up. But that's what I picked up for May 4th. We will take a look at that. But first, let's go to Smith's and have a look at all the other deals that I saw. So walking straight into Smith's and the Star Wars sets were there. They did have quite a few of them. I'm not quite sure if they were selling out or if they only put two on each of these shelf ends here. As you can see, they had a ton of these dioramas and we didn't quite hit a thousand subs, so I won't be picking up the Bark Speeder. The Droidica definitely looks better in person than on the online images. I don't like this little one here, but I think it's gonna be a great set to pick up later. And they also had the Sonic sets on sale. Shadow was only £15 and Knuckles and Blaze was £22, so it was tempting, but I resisted picking them up. And another sale for Animal Crossing already. It feels like these sets only just come out. And again, I really wanted to pick these sets up, but I've just got to say for all the other Star Wars sets I want to pick up. And whilst we were looking at the other sets, we didn't really get a close-up look of Despicable Me, but you can see there's two antennas on here, which I'll definitely be mentioning again in my CMF review. Now, taking a close look at all of the freebies and the non-freebie, I guess, that I got for May, this Yoda does look really cool. And I've actually seen Hamleys, Harrods, one of the big London stores were doing two other buildable figures like this Yoda, one for Darth Vader, one for Princess Leia. So I'm going to have to build these at some point and 
If I do, there'll be an image up on Instagram, so be sure to keep an eye out in case I do end up building both of these because they use quite common pieces. Of course, we've got the lightsabers. Yoda's also got his hood, which looks really, really cool at the back, and a nice little stand for him to stand on. Now, this TIE Interceptor, obviously representing the model that has been made into a UCS set now this year, is also really, really sleek. It does come with one spare piece, if you do want to know about the spare pieces, but my favourite piece is that cockpit piece, which looks really, really cool. It is printed, and as you can see, I do have it the correct orientation for the exterior model. Of course, if you are a huge Star Wars fan, you might already know that the cockpit doesn't line up when you see an interior shot of the, well, any tie ship and that is from the original trilogy because they actually lined up the middle one a few degrees off so instead of a line being in the middle it lines up so that there's a gap right at the top and a line either side of it it's hard to explain but if you know you know and i've also built this cool stand with it just with one of them clear bar pieces and the black plate that doesn't come with the poly bag but the poly bag does sort of stand up by itself it just doesn't stand very well it doesn't stand up straight because it ends up leaning forward and i'm definitely going to display it on the stand but taking a quick look at the actual poly bag you can see there is the 25 years of lego star wars unlike the aat you might have also picked up recently which has 25 years of episode one so lego are celebrating both 25 years of lego as well as 25 years of star wars and I really wish they included this on more sets because, as you've seen, the Maul ship has 25 years of LEGO Star Wars, I'm sure. The Brickheads has it, the Droidica has it, and none of them are sporting this logo, which, in my opinion, is not only very cool, but for Maul Skimitar or Maul Starship, it's got Maul and Qui-Gon in the set, and that is who is dueling. Is that Qui-Gon or is that Kenobi? Actually, that might be Kenobi, but you've got Maul in the set. And I just really like the artwork on the front. Speaking of the AAT, I did have two other giveaway purchases that I built before May. So you can check out the video where I compare this platoon attack craft. That is the actual Star Wars name of it. And that video is up comparing it to one of my older childhood sets. And we've also got this mock for the AAT. There's a short out about it. Definitely check it out if you're interested because I think it looks really cool next to the Swamp Speeder just at the back there. But this isn't the only thing I picked up today. In fact, let me show you the instructions in case you want to build them yourself. These are the instructions for Yoda, so be sure to just pause the video and screenshot it. And then we've got the instructions for the TIE Interceptor, all using quite basic pieces. Again, the most awkward piece to find in your collection is that nice printed panel at the front of the TIE. But we can get rid of them, perhaps get the bags out of the way too, because this is the moment you've probably all been waiting for, for the key ring. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to open this one-handed. There we go. And before we see the key ring, we have this very nice sleeve. Now, I'm not necessarily a fan of the boxes. I do have the Han in Carbonite key ring, and I don't have the box for that. I didn't keep the box for that. I don't actually know where that key ring is, so I might have to find that, but this key ring looks absolutely well awesome it's really the only word for it it comes with the actual key ring which i think nearly every key ring does so you're probably ending up with a bunch of these hoops it's a bit hard to get out of the box when you do you see there's nothing fancy on the back it is just the lego star wars 25 years and some of the copyright bits they have to include on it but this is a very very shiny key ring you can see there in the reflection of it the light is just bouncing right off it and it's not holographic or anything like that like you'd expect it to probably be i mean the stud is definitely a bit it's got a few lines in it to represent that quite well and my camera is going to have a hard time focusing on it but i really really like the look of this keyring as i said i paid five pound for it in argos it's definitely worth the five pound i spent if you are looking at buying any lego star wars sets definitely whack on it's not quite like lego you can't just add 40 pounds to your cart and get it for free or at least i'm pretty sure you can't but if there's a bigger set you're looking for i think the helmets are like a third off definitely pick it up with this key ring while you've got the chance that is if they're still in stock and haven't already gone because i'm a big fan of it they've also transitioned to cardboard i remember the han one was more of a foam of some sort but this is just cardboard in a cardboard tub a lot of cardboard here 
I can't wait to see any Lego sets with the paper bags in. Still haven't seen any. I mean, I haven't built any too recent. I haven't got any of the new ones, so I'll have to wait and see for that. But I really do like this display box. So the key ring will be coming out, but perhaps I can display it with the box behind it. Anyway, that is everything I picked up for May 4th. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know down in the comments what you picked up. I know a few of you have already and I really do like hearing about what you've made, especially if it's some of the big sets you've been waiting for and saving all your money. So let me know down in the comments and don't forget to drop that like and may the bricks be with you always.